My name is uh, Yapa. You know, um, time is probably the most valuable commodity in the universe. If you don't have time, you may have many things, but they are they are of no use. We all are born with a certain amount of time, and uh, we spend a good amount of it in software development as web developers. So time is precious, whether you are on a uh, tight deadline or not, you need to save it. You need to make sure that you are making the most efficient use of it. And then, the human brain is probably the smartest computer in the universe, capable of many amazing things. At the same time, it gets distracted very, very easily. So, as a uh, web developer, you might be working on something, and then uh, you know you are distracted. Uh, let's say. You have to move some files from another location to another location, uh, minify them, uglyfy them, many things. So these are housekeeping work. As a web developer, you should reserve your brain CPU cycles for your primary task. That's web development, not on housekeeping. These things can be taken care of by an automated build system, and that's what I'm going to talk about specifically. Gulp.js, which is uh, probably uh, the the uh, the build system which is rising at a meteoric rate for web developers. So my talk is titled "Save Time in Your Brain CPU Cycles with Gulp.js." As I was mentioning about automated build systems, what are they? Probably most of you are familiar with them. Maybe a few of you are not. Yet familiar with them, so automated build systems are uh, software systems which does the tedious and repetitive tasks for you to create a version of software which can be distributed and uh, put on a production server. So, a long time ago, actually not that long time ago, but uh, in internet year, internet years is actually uh, long. Let's say maybe uh, ten years ago. Web development used to be very simple. There was no need for a build system. And as the web and the web development industry grew, there were needs for a build system for web developers as well. And we started using uh, build systems used in, in other domains. For example, uh, we used to use uh, Apache Ant, make files. And with time, these things came to be written in Ruby, Python, and even in Bash script. But still, the web developer was not really empowered. And something happened in 2009. Node.js was created. It gave JavaScript system level access. Now you could write tools that could be written, that were written in Java, Python, Ruby, or any other general purpose programming language. A JavaScript developer could now do system level programming as well. And as expected, there was a Cambrian explosion of sorts in the JavaScript world. Multiple libraries and tools came out as a result. Maybe a few of you also created your own tools using Node.js. So it was only a matter of time that someone would come up with an automated build system written in JavaScript. It did, and it was called Grunt. Maybe a lot of you have used Grunt to automate your tasks and uh, build your applications. So this is a very basic Grunt file. What it does is uh, it will minify some CSS files. It works as expected, as promised, but it makes me question a few things. Okay, take a good look at uh, this file, and then here are my questions. Why is the grunt file a module? Okay. And why is the grunt initialization done by the developer? And why is it dependent on package.json? 
and there is something called node npm tasks why is it named that way and why is it named tasks a plural plural tasks when if you can see the if you can see it sorry uh, uh in the second line you can see uh grant the load uh npm tasks okay and uh, there's only one thing loaded but still it's called tasks and then the mini minify plugin it does not just minify it will e even add a banner in your uh, minified file it will also concatenate your css files you know it's really confusing why a plugin should do more than one thing okay you may think that eh, okay it's a good thing that a plugin does multiple things but if it's named minify why should it do something more than minifying and if that is the approach you never know what those the plugins which you be using would be doing and finally can the interface be simpler so these things had to be addressed and someone did in the form of gulp so gulp is relatively very new maybe around uh, four months old but it's gaining popularly uh, gaining popularity at a at a very 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 uh uh unexplainable rate everyone is everyone is uh, adopting gulp now if you see how it works so this is a basic gulp file so if you look at it and compare what you saw in the grunt file i think it's much more obvious what it's it's trying to do is basically a node.js program so take a look at the code it's uh, it's loading gulp and uh, loading two uh, plugins and uh, there's a task called default which which uh, processes the files which are specified in the src and then uh, it's piped to the the minify plugin and then it's piped to the uh, concat concat plugin and finally it's uh, moved to the destination folder okay so how do you uh, uh, install gulp installing gulp is very easy npm install minus g gulp and then you would need to have a, a local version of it as well so you have to do npm install save dev gulp to get the gulp plugins you go to gulpjs.com slash plugins uh, get the names and uh, the plugins are basically uh, node modules so you have to install them as how you would install any other node module and then i'm going to give you a, a very quick demo of grunt versus gulp So this is the gulp file, and this is the grunt file. Both of them, they do the same thing. Okay, it's the same thing. Look at the verbosity, the size of the file. This is gulp, and this is grunt. Okay, so I'm gonna run them. Let's start with grunt. It took 250 milliseconds. You say, oh, wow, it's quite fast. Okay. Now let's run the same thing using Gulp. It took only 55 milliseconds. And uh, this is a very basic example. If you're working on a big project, you'll see that uh, Gulp, Gulp is uh, completing the task in milliseconds and grunt would be taking seconds so both of them they do the same thing uh, what they do is they have to minify the css file and concatenate and move it to a destination directory so sorry uh not that actually uh it was the uh, uh Default def okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Yes. This is a slightly more complicated task. Let's see how long it takes. Four, four point six seconds. Go test. Yeah. So there you have it. It's around four four milliseconds. So that would be it. Any questions? Hey, yeah. Hi. Uh, so, while performing the grunt task, uh, I mean, it's a gulp task, can we exclude a, some some sort of files or CSS or JS files? Yeah, yeah, we can exclude it. Okay. Yeah, the, the syntax is quite similar to grunt, actually. Okay. If you have used grunt. Uh, hi. Yeah. So, uh, are grunt tasks like compatible with gulp? No, unfortunately, no, no. Sorry? No, no, they are not. Okay, then yeah. like, are there enough tasks, like plugins available for Gulp? Gulp, uh, right now, we have around uh, 240 something. Okay. Probably it will serve all your needs. Okay. Uh, if, if uh, until and unless you are trying to do something very complicated, uh, the, the plugin system is easy, probably you could try it if the, the, the plugin is not there. Hi. Uh, why is it so fast? Why is Gulp so fast? Okay, so... Shouldn't it be why is other things so slow? <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is that uh, Grunt is... Uh, 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 when is using multiple tasks, uh, it has this concept of using temporary files. Okay, this, this particular task, this particular plugin will do its stuff, move it to some directory, the other plugin will get it from there, do it, uh, yeah, get it, gets work done and uh, maybe create another temporary file or move it to the destination directory. But in, uh, when it comes to Gulp, once the file the files are loaded, they never touch the file system again until and unless the whole work is done on the file stream. They they move they go to the uh, the file system only after the whole plugins have done their job. That's the reason why it's really fast. So what feature feature wise what what else you have uh, compared to Grunt. So, Grunt, you can do image optimization yeah, yeah. and everything. So, yeah. Yeah. how, you know, how differ you differ from uh, Grunt? When you say about this milliseconds, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care, you know, when I'm in this development environment. Mm -hmm. So, till it affects the page load. Yes, time. yes. So, I'm fine with Grunt. So, what yeah. else do you have? Okay, so, uh, base, uh, if, if you're happy with Grunt, if anyone who's very, very happy with Grunt, despite seeing that the interface is much cleaner, more logical, in Gulp, and you, you, you can obviously see this much faster. Despite that, if you're not willing to move to Gulp, I would say, you know, that's the best tool for you. So the thing is that the, the, the interface of Gulp is much, much cleaner, much more obvious compared to Grunt, and it's faster. So, you know, what, what can Grunt do which Gulp cannot? Uh, it's only the interface is neater, faster. Ultimately, it's up to the plugins, you know, what the plugins can do. How about the image optimization? And yeah, uh, there are plugins which would optimize it for you. So, is there any other question? I think, you know, uh, we can... Yeah, I, I, have, a I have one question. Okay. Uh, so, at uh, Scrollback, we use Grunt to build things. And, yeah. uh, you know, having having some experience with that, uh, you know, with the Grunt file format, I, I really love what, you know, uh, Gulp does. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do have a question. I think um you know the um because you guys are using streams mm -hmm. this uh, does this mean that a plugin cannot you know uh, r read files at ran in a random order I mean because you will be sending a stream of data you know and mm -hmm. the, and each plugin has to read and process that data in the same order in which it receives it so that does that uh, you know other plugins 
that are possible in grunt that are not possible in gulp because mm. of this mm. actually you know uh, the order of processing it's really up to you how you when you want to where you want to pipe uh, the stream to that plugin you can decide it uh, yeah i mean uh, my question is uh, suppose i want to um, do five steps to a group of 10 files mm -hmm. okay? okay uh now uh, in grunt each step of the process uh, mm. i mean step 1 might process file 1 first and then file 3 and then file 2 and then file 10 mm. and the next step might do it in a different order mm -hmm. you know uh, i'm i'm talking the order between okay. the in, files in 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 case of gulp uh, you know it they go uh, you know in, in a series one after another uh yeah i mean are there any disadvantages to that approach that you know of um uh, right now i'm really not aware about that but uh, there uh, there was something called you know uh, grunt dot run which is deprecated so uh, uh it was being misused so uh, there are other ways of taking care of those kind of issues uh, thanks. It, you know they are still working on it actually okay thank you okay next guys okay. so uh, um, not a question basically just to answer you i think uh, gulp has basically got support for both buffered of uh, file reading as well as streaming file reading the plugins can choose to buffer stream data and then process it uh, but basically there is no build tool which will satisfy all cases so it's always you'll find some corner cases so for 80 percent of the case i think gulp does uh, most of the things very easily